Man, how long you been rapping, bro? Uh, man, for a long time. I put out my first uh, CD. It was called First on the Scene. It was all freestyles. Mm -hmm. I put it out in 05, so okay. 15 years. Okay. Oh, you and, deep, deep in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, we did, uh, that was done real shitty quality. Like, half of it done off, like, a computer mic. Half mm -hmm. of it done off a stage mic. And then from there, I think I started with, like, a 100 of those CDs. And then from there, I bought my my next studio equipment. I still have that mic and mm -hmm. other stuff. I don't use it now, but, you know what I'm saying? I still have that. It was a good purchase. Uh, got that little bit of studio equipment. And dropped my second CD. And then just kept it moving. My first, uh, my first two to three projects were all freestyle CDs. Okay. But shit, I couldn't tell you last time I freestyled now, yeah. bro. I was about to ask. <laughs> I couldn't tell you last time I freestyled now. Yeah. But you know, that's that at the time when it was coming up, that's what it was. Yeah. Freestyles was, was popular, especially being from Texas, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no question. Everybody yeah, freestyling yeah, yeah. from Texas. Yeah, no matter what age group, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah. freestyles yeah. and mixtapes. I, I feel like mixtapes is something that uh um that really hurt my long my my longevity right mm -hmm. now. I did a whole lot of mixtapes. I grew up in Texas. Everybody did mixtapes. Mm -hmm. Mixtapes was the thing. I was fucking with you know like shit. Uh, I dropped mixtape with Rabbit Rick and people like that. It was booming at the mm -hmm. time. Like mixtapes where it was at. So I was like mm -hmm. mixtape, mixtape, mixtapes. I did all these years worth of mixtapes and it's like. Right now, you ain't not getting no royalties off them mixtapes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like if I would have been doing original music that whole time. Phew. Yeah, no question. You know what I mean? Pockets but, on. <laughs> yeah, so you know, a, a lesson learned. You know, yeah. live and learn. You live and you learn for sure. Then the music game is is it changes every day. For so every ball, bro. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. Do, do you feel like you gonna ever ever quit making music? Nah, I don't think so, man. I I, I feel like I'll forever make music, and then uh, even when I'm not making. My personal music, I still forever be mm -hmm. doing stuff with music for other yeah. people. That's really all I know, bro. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I've i never, I've had one real job in my life that was like a real job. Mm -hmm. I had it uh, one time I was on, uh, on like, probation and shit. I mm -hmm. had, you know, when I was working from here, supposed to be doing music. They just come by and checking on me all the time, checking on me all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I mean, I'm getting in trouble. Like, I need mm -hmm. to, you know, I need to get a job. Yeah. And I got a job one time, and uh, I had it for, until I got off probation, I had it for a few years. And then, uh, shit, let it go. Other than that, I've never really... This is all I've done, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Music, bro. And then mu things that are music related, like not just, I haven't been out there just making a killing off music, but yeah. anything music related from the studio side of it to the graphic side mm -hmm. of it to the videos to the, um, just to the shows, mm -hmm. you know, we, we throw shows, we do, bro. Anything that has to do with the music, yeah. um, that's what's really all I've done, bro, my whole life. Okay. Um, I, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a live drum set in here, man. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 like, and like, that's something that, like, that's something that me being at where I'm at right now in yeah. life, being like, you know what? I made it this far, and I, I've done all these good things, mm -hmm. and I really don't have what I would consider musical mm -hmm. talent. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I can't play instruments. Okay. Like, I can make beats. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can do all that shit on a computer, mm -hmm. and like, with a kid, I can figure it out, make shit sound good. But I'm not musically inclined, like, yeah. with instruments and shit. Okay. So that was like, you know what? Let me try to teach myself how to play the drums. So yeah. I fucking got some drums over here, and I'm yeah. trying to teach myself how to play the drums. I, 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 on a scale of one to five, I think you good. Are you, how good you are? Man, know. I probably haven't spent but like a few hours on mm -hmm. the drums, and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm probably a solid four. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, okay. okay, I fuck with it. You know what yeah, I mean? I just think rock shows and just live shows. Period. I think it's just dope as hell. You got people playing the guitar yeah. and. Yeah, like, see, like, uh, 2000, so 2019, bro, that's something that I did that I really am trying to run with in 2020. Mm -hmm. I'm just having some band issues, but, like, in the 2019, bro, I started performing with a live band behind mm -hmm. me. Like, I had a, uh, I had Sean on the keys, I had that boy Rich on the drums, mm -hmm. I had Terrence on the bass, I had Sice on the tables, and, bro, that shit was cold. Yeah. That shit was cold, bro. Yeah. Uh, we did a couple shows together, and that shit, that shit was real cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to keep it going. I've actually had a lot of inquiries about uh, people wanting to book us with yeah. a band. Okay. You know, it's a whole different vibe, a whole mm -hmm. different feel, a whole lot longer set. Instead of yeah. doing 10-minute sets when we yeah. perform rap, we're doing with a live band. We're doing mm -hmm. a 45-minute set. You know yeah. what I mean? So... Uh, that's something I definitely want to try to keep going, bro. In twenty twenty, is the mm -hmm. live band shit. I feel the same way you feel. Bro. Bro. Live music is it's where it's at, bro. Bro, when you have the next one and yeah. I don't get an invite, I'm yeah. gonna lose it. No, I got you, bro. I'm gonna <laughs> let you know. I want to see that. I'm, like, I'm gonna let you know, bro, yeah. for real. Because but with the live band, bro, yeah. it's just a whole different yeah. vibe, bro. That's a different level of talent. Too. And then like, and, and, and then <laughs> and then you know, like we finished the song. We finish performing the song, and then shit, the whole band just the, just goes in. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. And so that one song goes from being a four-minute song 
to damn near fucking nine minutes mm-hmm. just because they're just freestyling at mm-hmm. the end. The band just killing it. Like, man, it's, it's something different, bro. It's, yeah. it's different, bro. Wish I could play the guitar. <laughs> Me too. You see, I got I got guitar and the bass. Oh, I don't shit, even know I how to play the guitar. Yeah. yeah. I ain't know how to play it. I think you need to just fuck with it in your spare time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, so who are your mu- who are some of your musical influences, bro? Who, who influenced script, bro? Man, uh, a, 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 a lot of Texans. Yeah. A, a lot of Texans, bro. No question. Yeah, you know, a lot of Texas for sure. At one point in time, I would have told you Chameleon Air was the best rapper. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now, I couldn't tell you the last Chameleon Air song I listened to. Yeah. But, you know, at one point in time, he was the GOAT <laughs> to me. Uh, Ain't no argument. You know what I mean? Like, for real, bro. I, yeah. thought, I thought he was godly, bro. And that yeah. fool got on them tracks. That yeah. shit was crazy. You know, uh, Charlie, I always, I, always, I always fucked with Charlie. And that's mm-hmm. cool because now I'm at the place where I worked with Charlie, you know, for years and years and mm-hmm. years. Like, that that was cool because he was always somebody that, that I really looked up to with the music and his sound. He had his own sound. Mm-hmm. Um, South People, Bro, Zero, Outkast. Uh, if it wasn't South, it might be West Coast. Mm-hmm. But I really didn't venture too much into... There wasn't a whole lot of uh, East Coast rap mm-hmm. when I was coming up that I just really mm-hmm. uh, got onto. I you know it definitely a bunch of shit that was good, but it just wasn't stuff that I would latch onto mm-hmm. and stick with. Most everything I grew up fucking with that I was influenced from was really the South yeah. or, uh, or Cali a little bit. Yeah. Man. Like Dre and shit yeah, like that. No sure. question. Sure. No, hands down. <laughs> That's Dre the goat, man. Bro, he's so cold. Simple. Bro. But I, I feel like, do you, do you think it's because you're from the South that a lot of East Coast music you couldn't really get in tune with? Yeah, 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 okay. for, for sure, mm. for sure. I, I I think at one point in time too, it was like the rhyme patterns that that they they do. I don't want to say more complex rhyme patterns, mm. but their rhyme patterns were really like it wouldn't rhyme on the you know like the C and the C and the mm. C wouldn't all rhyme. You know, mm. it would be like rhyme here and then mm. not rhyme, not rhyme, not rhyme, and then rhyme. You know what I mean? Like certain patterns that they frequented used at that point in time when I was getting on the rap, it just it wasn't catching me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There's like, but I'm that type of person, bro. I figured out over time that like. I cannot like something for a long time or like not even not like it, but I can just not like really get it for mm. a long time. And bro, once I hear something like I always use two chains as my example, mm-hmm. bro. I did not fuck with Titty Boy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when he first became two chains, I didn't fuck with him. Mm-hmm. But once he made a song, bro, that caught me yeah. and I was like, damn, this shit's so hard. Mm-hmm. Then I like went back and listened to all the old shit. I listened to it different. You know what I mean? And bro, for like two years, he's mm-hmm. like my favorite rapper out. You know what I'm saying? But it took, I had to find something mm-hmm. that caught me mm-hmm. for me to actually understand the rest of the shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like a bunch of New York shit might have been like that too. Because mm-hmm. there's songs that I hear now that are real old that mm-hmm. I can go back and listen to and I'll be like, damn, they did, they did. Mm-hmm. Demolish that whole yeah. But at the time, nah, I just wasn't yeah, feeling it. For sure. Mm-hmm. And big shout out to Two Chains, bro. He's so underrated. So fucking yeah. cold, bro. And then the show, you ever watched the show, bro? Uh, 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 most expensive is yeah, oh, absolutely. That's just hilarious. Absolutely. When yeah. I see him drinking that high as water, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, man, what, what do you feel like is the difference between your music and your peers' music? Other people making music. Um, you got a little sauce to your music. You know what I'm saying? I I feel like for sure my voice, bro. I don't have like a I don't have like a deep voice. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I have a unique a unique voice. Mm-hmm. So I feel like my voice for one. And then, yeah, I feel like um, I, I, if you listen to my old shit, I used to rap real fast. Mm-hmm. I was like rapping fast, fast, mm-hmm. fast. I feel like I found a, a a balance between being lyrical and, like you say, being a little saucy. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I, I like I could be on a track with a, with a youngster that's, that's super saucy mm-hmm. and, like, my shit be super saucy, mm-hmm. but then I still, I still maintain yeah. the lyricism and shit that mm-hmm. I did too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I kind of have a decent balance yeah. of the two. I feel like some people are either super saucy or super lyrical mm-hmm. and they don't have that balance. Yeah. I I feel like I have a decent balance mm-hmm. of that. I would agree. Cool. Yeah, you, you uh, gotta be versatile, especially yeah. nowadays. It's, it's, that's it, good to hear because that's what I try to do. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. <laughs> Man, rap. Rap is just like, uh, what's the name? It changes. It's always changing, bro. Every day. Every, everything is always changing. <laughs> There's a new sound every day. Something being born. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Man. Yeah, but we didn't we didn't talk about it a lot. But th- I, this is another one of my favorite interviews for the day. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, man. Is there any artists, big artists, artists from hometown, anywhere you want to work with? Uh, man, I mean, there's all kinds of people I want to work with. Mm-hmm. Shit, I like working with. I really feel like I feed off of uh, I feed off of other people's creativity mm-hmm. too. Like. You know, I have my own studio. I have mm-hmm. my own. Stuff. I've always had all my own stuff. I don't really just sit at home and pump out a lot of music, a lot of music. But when I'm around a bunch of creatives, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Like I'll be the first person to get mm-hmm. done writing my verse. Like let, right, let me record mine. Like 
I feed off of a room full of creatives. Okay. Like that's that's my type of environment right okay. there, bro. So really, so many people, bro. Like so many people in in the city. Shit, I still ain't haven't worked with the uh, Farico. Looking at, I still yeah. haven't worked with the uh, <laughs> with Hot Boy West. Yeah. Um, man. And then outside the city, shit, bro. The world, there's a big world out yeah, there. Yeah, huge world. There's a big world yeah. out there, bro. I couldn't, man. I, I could go on for days, bro. I'm trying to work with everybody. You trying to work? Y'all hit me up. Yeah. For real, for real. Hit me up. For sure, for sure, man. Y'all make sure to tap in with them on socials. Yeah, for sure. At, at everything prescription, P I R. Spell it wrong, spell it right. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to put it in, in the link. I'm in the description below. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, for man. Sure.